Hey moms, welcome back to Momsly Me. In this episode of Drink With Us, we are drinking some favorites. instead of finding new, exciting, possibly disgusting recipes that we're never going to drink again. Or that we're going to change anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that we would just pick our favorite drinks. So, tried and true margarita that's not going to be green, because... Gross. Yeah. And my new favorite sangria that you can buy at Target. It's $5. Um, you know. So, we're going to do that. You want to make your margarita for us? Sure. So, um, this is not the stuff that I normally get, but we have a daycare bill now, so I can't afford the stuff I normally get for. <laughs> so this is, a, this bottle was actually given to us as a, a what do you call it? Like a, House like a housewarming mm -hmm. present. We've lived here for two years. <laughs> it's been the shot bottle. This is what we've gone to when we want to take shots while we're drinking. We haven't actually, we don't use this to like make drinks. It's actually been the first time. Do we use tequila so. or something? Not that one. Yeah, and I know Rick and I didn't use it either, but um, anyway, I've never even had this before. Yeah. Almeca Altos? Have you not? No, but yeah. anything 100% agave I'm going to like because it's naturally sweeter. Yes. So anyway, so it's going to be two of these. Let's see what my line was. <laughs> it's going to be the point. I haven't smelt tequila in so oh. long. Did it just hit you? Yeah. Because I'm like, hello. <laughs> yeah, because post-baby, like, I haven't really been able to drink anything without getting a headache, so I don't drink anything because I don't want to feel like garbage. Except for when we drink things. Yeah, but I usually either take something ahead of time. Yeah. Or still feel like garbage. Or, um, or I just don't drink as much. Yeah, that's true. There's plenty of videos where I just sip and then I don't finish what I'm drinking. Yeah. Most of it is paranoia. And then it's going to be, um, I don't have a full ounce of orange juice. Like a half ounce. <laughs> I forgot the orange juice. Sorry. I was so confident. It's probably going to be a little more sour than I prefer, but that's okay. An ounce of lime juice. You could do a half an ounce of lime juice. It's Well, yeah, but then it's just going to taste like liquor. <laughs> well, that's true. So I don't mind that. I don't like regular margaritas. They're too bitter for me. I like sweet. You've been following along. You know this. You know that. And um, so anyway, here we are. And some Grand Marnier that I've been hanging on to for a while. Oh. It's a pop. I was like, hmm. I've only ever bought the little bottles of these and they're screw tops. The little mini ones. Yeah. Yeah. One time I went to a liquor store and they had like a box, like a little thing of them. Mm -hmm. And they were all the little mini ones for $5. Like you get oh, the whole nice. thing. I don't know why, I, but... Although the mini bottles are adorable. They are adorable. And there, we were going to a party with people we didn't know or like. You know. So, um, I wasn't going to share. So there's no point in getting like a whole bottle. I am going to get an ice cube. Okay. Be right back. Ice cube? Just one. Orange. All right. Actually, that was kind of cool with just one ice cube. It, it looks like a, It looks like an iceberg. Ta-da! Oh my god, my orange is dying. Oh no, just... just that bitch. Well, I'm going to do it in my drink anyway, so fine. Okay. That's fine. Let me make mine. You're horrific. I don't know what I spilled, but I'm wiping it up with my shirt. That wouldn't make a good bartender. Let me clean that up for you. Did you ever get behind the bar to make drinks at Chili's? No, I've made a couple things. I just didn't want to do bartending. My favorite was teaching people all of the alcohols and liquors. I'm like, you want to be a bartender and you don't know what this stuff is? Cool. I've been to so many restaurants that have been like that, though, where they don't know what they have. Dawn and I, before we went to see the Van Gogh exhibit, we went to um, the... Uh, where do we go? Uh, cheesecake. Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, Cheesecake Factory. Sorry, I just... 
uh, Cheesecake Factory, and Dawn ordered one of the wines, and the guy was like, the what? <laughs> <laughs> had no idea. And then he brought her one and it was white and she doesn't drink white wines like that. So she was like, I looked at it and I was like, well, she knows what she ordered. And then like, as soon as I thought it, she goes, it's supposed to be red. <laughs> he just like picked something that sounded close. <laughs> That's why they have books. I was like, you could just tell him. And she was like, no, I'm just going to drink it. I was like, okay. I would not just drink it. That wine, white wine gives me such a headache. Yeah. Well, she has headaches perpetually. I know. So. I like white sangrias. I just can't do red sangrias because I don't like red wine. It's too much. It's too bleh for me. You have to find the, like, this. Uh, there are some sweet red blends that you can make a sweet red sangria with. And a yeah. ton of fruit. Yeah. Lots of fruit. What's the drink this we made? This one's pretty sweet. What's the drink we made with fruit? Hunch Punch? Which one? Is that what it's called? Well, we did oh, the in the cooler. In the cooler. Hunch is, punch. Was it hunch punch? There's no recipe for hunch punch. You just buy what you want to buy. And, and you put, put it, in. it in there. Yeah, yes. it was Hawaiian punch. That's all I remember. Hawaiian and punch. And we didn't do Everclear, but we did golden grain. No. What is the play? We did one. Of, well, you have to do one of them. Otherwise, it's not hunch punch. Yeah, I guess that's true. So, I, But I don't think we did Everclear. I'm pretty sure we did golden grain. Probably. That, that sounds like something. But whatever was cheaper. Probably time. golden grain, I think. I think so. It was good. Yeah. It was, and um, no one got arrested. No, that's how you judge if you went too far. That's right. And we had some not very tame friends back then. Restaurant people. No restaurant, restaurant people. people are tame. It was a full restaurant party, and then yeah, it was just restaurant people, and we had like beer pong and. Mm -hmm. It was a fun time. It was that Halloween party? That's yeah, what it was. Okay, I was like, what would we do it for? It's Halloween party. Yeah. Right, let's see how my no orange juice is. Let's see. There's some. There's just some orange juice in there. Not the good kind. Look. The fresh kind. We never have fresh squeezed stuff on here. Woo! It's a strong... <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm out of practice. <laughs> I didn't even tell you the last time I had a mar like a real margarita. We did little mini ones before a weekend away for the pictures. The Not mini ones, but like the, the restaurant margaritas. Oh, yeah. Those were yummy. I don't remember what they were. <laughs> they were the holiday special. Berry. Berry something, and they had sugar. And the cutest little garnishes, they were these, they have probably were from the Dollar Tree. There was these little, like, sprigs. Sprigs of Christmas garland. With little lights on them. It was so cute. They're still in my car. Are they still in your car? Yeah, they're still in my car. They were so cute. They are so cute. Um, I was like, we should keep these. My throat burns. Damn, Martha Stewart, two shots of tequila. It's Martha Stewart. Good God. But she didn't put orange juice in her recipe. I think, so what I've always done when I've made it, particularly because I haven't had it since I was in my early 20s, yeah. I just poured it in. Like, I didn't use, I didn't measure it and look up recipes. I just did whatever looked right at the time. That's true. So, you need some Sprite? I don't have any Sprite. <laughs> do you, you don't have any Sprite? No, the ice will melt Mountain down Dew. a little bit. <laughs> I don't have anything that's not colored. That's kind of like. But yeah, I like Texas margaritas. If they look like this, I'm probably going to like them. Yeah. If they're green, like chemicals sour, dumped into the ocean green, I'm not interested. Mix. Oh, God, I hate sour mix. Can't do the sour mix. I always thought I didn't like tequila, and I don't like tequila that much. But mm -hmm. it's always been the, the sour mix that I just haven't actually liked. It's pretty gross. Mm -hmm. And it's so irritating because when, you, when, they, when they make the mix... They call it sweet and sour. There's no sweet and sour mix. It is straight up sour mix. Did you taste that? Right? No, I smelled it. <laughs> it's strong as shit, ain't it? Mm. Some orange. <laughs> you feel a burn? <laughs> Ooh, Jesus! Take the wheel. What? When I saw what? how Let's high, when cube. I saw how high the the tequila went in the glass, I was like. <laughs> Because Martha Stewart's best friend is Snoop Dogg. Good thing I got work tomorrow. This, I was going to read it again. Where's it going? It says, Whoo! Yeah. Two ounces. One orange ounce juice. Of more, more orange juice wasn't going to. It would have made it a little bit. Better. A little bit. Yeah, and then she does all her little, like, specialty. And I, so I basically, I just found a recipe that was supposed to be for one serving. Because I don't normally follow a recipe mm -hmm. when I make drinks. You also usually make a pitcher. That's true, too. It's good you didn't make a picture of this. Fuck no. I mean, hell no. There ain't no way. Uh-uh. <laughs> Go down the drain. I don't know what I mean. Maybe Rick will drink it later. 
If, if there was a picture, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I should Ooh. drink. I should drink this that and makes, go play video games. That makes this taste like grape juice. <laughs> Woo! It's good times. Jabus. Martha Stewart. Martha begins with it. There ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was a Martha. Stewart recipe when it's all straight liquor. Well, now we know to be careful with Jeez. Martha Stewart. I am curious what another recipe... Let me look at another recipe. Because I'm, I'm... Drink recipes? I'm slightly curious. Mm. That one's got a jalapeno in it. Yeah, this is a Texas one. I mean, like a Texas, Texas one. I love when you have to scroll 75 pages to get to the recipe. Okay, so this one also makes one. Okay. Three, Three ounces. ounces. <laughs> they try to get you. Ugh. Half of a jalapeno seeded. Three fourths ounce Grand Marnier. Three fourth ounce. Blah, blah, blah. Three fourth ounce fresh lime juice. One and a half pineapple juice. Mm. One and a half simple syrup. Mm. And half a jalapeno seed. Pineapple jalapeno wedge. seeded. You don't want the jalapeno. Oh, is that what it says? Oh, that's I don't want the jalapeno. I was seeds. like, that's a weird. I don't know. I don't know how to read. Apparently, I could have brought simple syrup. Now we know. Jeez. But it's crazy because, you know, when they make these drinks in restaurants, they are so cheap or light-handed, I guess, with the liquor that I wasn't even thinking that, oh, it's going to be strong. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, let's see how late I am tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe you'll just get really good sleep tonight. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be great. I definitely don't. My, my tolerance for alcohol is so bizarre. Like, it, it fluctuates so much. I used to, um, I went, I've been through phases where it didn't take very much to even feel buzzed. And then I've been through some times in my life where it has taken a decent amount, which isn't yeah. fun, by the way. I know we've talked yeah. about this before, but I would much rather be a lightweight. It's cheap and quick. But, like, now it's, I, I never know when I'm going to feel something. Sometimes one drink and I'm a little buzzy and then other, and it can, and it's not anything strong. You might and, be halfway through that one. You feel a little buzzy. Yeah, that's true. Or maybe I am now. Maybe. Right. But, but then there's other times where I like can drink all day and I barely feel anything. It just depends on like so many things. I feel like I'm like that with ciders. I could, yeah. drink, I could drink ciders all day long. And never get anything. Yeah. But like this 750 mil bottle is generally going to take me like two days like i'll drink some of it one day and then maybe a week and a half later i'll drink some more of it does the chain does the taste change a lot if you don't not with this one surprisingly huh. there are other ones that i've had um there's a brand real it says real but there's an accent so i assume it's real hmm. it's the one that a lot of like when you see people buy a handle of like a handle of sangria that's generally what it is it has an orange label that's probably my second favorite mm. it was my favorite until i found this one um that one the flavor does change and it's after it's been opened yeah after it's been opened and there's and it's in a dark bottle i'm surprised this one comes in a clear bottle honestly because usually sangrias are in a dark bottle because they do their flavor does change so much but this one's really good. It's California Roots is the brand, and it's from Target. Uh, that's just, that's the only place, that's where I saw it for the first one. I'm pretty sure it's the only place that they sell it. Um, this says, fresh berry and zesty citrus flavors. Delightful summertime fiesta in a glass. Best served chilled over ice, I don't do ice, uh, with a garnish of fresh fruit. But it's chilled. It is chilled. It's been in her refrigerator for two months. Not two months. Month and a half. Month and a half? It's been a month. Mm -hmm. it's been a, yeah, a few weeks. Oh, been a minute. But, oh, apparently it pairs perfectly with grilled seafood. They forgot the comma. Tacos. <laughs> and That's why the bottle's so cheap. Forgot the comma. But anyways. It's a five dollar comma. Look, I'm not mad at it. Do you want to try it? No. It's nasty. It's sweeter. Oh, it doesn't. I already know it's not. It's sweeter than most. So, 
we have some exciting things coming up on the channel that we um, thought we'd take the opportunity to talk about. Um, Is it plural? Maybe. We Apparently it's a surprise for me too. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it's, it's a thing, then there are things involved with mm. the thing. So I things? Thought. Yeah, does that make sense? More work. <laughs> And we are so excited and passionate and happy about <laughs> no more Martha Stewart drinks. Go. No more Martha Stewart <laughs> drinks. Um, so we are starting a Patreon account. Might insert like a yay! Where's my straw? No more California roots. All right, go ahead. <laughs> it's actually just because it's inside of the middle of the orange. And so we keep saying, anyways, that's not the point. <laughs> so we started, we are starting, setting up currently a Patreon account. And so my goal is to have it ready to launch September 1st, which will be next week. Technically, when this Technically, video, when this video comes out. Yes, right. Technically, it will be next week, um, yep. September 1st. And mm -hmm. so there um, will be a couple of levels of membership. Tears. Tiers, if you will. Yes, they are called tiers <laughs> of membership, and they will have just different things in them. Um, one of the big reasons for starting a Patreon for us is we really like to craft and do stuff like that, and that would help us tremendously um, to make that stuff happen, and also some of the stuff that we want to do for other people, like some of the charities that we're doing, it will help us Make just be able videos. to do more. Yeah. It'll help us be able to do more with the channel. Absolutely. Particularly because like our some of our financial resources have changed. Yes. You know, like I the, the, the daycare the daycare bill is is, is really killing us. And yeah. just being honest, like it it cuts into what I'm able to put into yes. And the it September like a couple of months ago we did the Dave Ramsey program to try to get our debt under control and we did the course and then things happened and so we really are going to get very strict about following a budget and trying to go through the Ramsey program and get finances and stuff in line because next year we would really like to buy a house like that's our goal is to not be in an apartment anymore <laughs> and it's really hard to try to like yeah. limit yourself what for whatever reason if it's paying off your debts or paying for you know new adventures for your children like it's a big it's a big thing and so patreon will absolutely help things happen on this channel um we are also going to have exclusive behind the scenes stuff uh because we're really funny you guys we're hilarious and there's lots of Shit that gets cut out of videos. There's so much stupid stuff. So um. <laughs> for like so one of the things we talked about, and I don't know if it'll be the first thing we do or if it'll be later, but yeah, one of the I guess bigger higher tiers. I don't know. When you get the behind the scenes stuff, I think one of the first things we want to do is show the uncut version of the toxic in law videos because yes. video because we like I sat through and watched that entire video not exaggerating six times just to get it down to 40 minutes because I, I just could not if I had cut any more out it would have been too much like critical information and mm -hmm. so you'll have access to stuff like that whereas like because we really do cut down well, it may not seem like it sometimes well but yeah, we do we really do there's a couple yeah. of them there's that one there's that chronic pain video well, it was still an hour long but you, it was like an hour and 45 when we started yeah. And then <laughs> there's also fun ones too that, you know, would be fun just to have the whole thing. Like when we had Dawn and Marguerite with us, that was an hour and a half long and you've got 30 minutes of it. Yeah. Um, we talked about a lot of random ass stuff. Really did. And it's just, it's, it's something that we want to offer to you, um, to have like more in depth things because that's, again, one of the reasons we wanted to start this channel and put Mama Slimy out there is to be honest and real and raw about things that are happening in our lives as moms and um, spotlight other moms who have real things happening in their life too and put that out there for you. Yeah. Um, 
there will also be some lighthearted things too. Like there's plenty of like just shorter behind the scenes things too that are just funny. Um, so there will be different yeah. levels of that. We mess up a lot. <laughs> or we're just stupid. That yeah. happens a lot too. Or Rick walks in or Mike walk, has walked in back when he was able to be in the studio with us. Um, there's just lots of stuff. Maybe we'll bring some old content back of mm -hmm. like full length videos. Yeah, because our humanizing mom stuff got cut back quite a lot, even from the first season. We yeah. we were a lot better at managing the time frame for season two because we knew we had to keep everything focused. But I think because we were only doing one video for it, mom, right? And I think when we did um, like our our final thoughts, what what do we call that? Final thoughts. It, what did we call it? Final thoughts. I, think so. I thought it was called something else. So when we did our final thoughts video for the end season, of season one, one mm -hmm. we put an hour long video out there and YouTube videos that are that long just typically don't perform as well as the shorter videos. Um, but that, even that one being an hour long, like we cut it, didn't we cut that one down substantially? We still cut it down yeah. substantially. Yeah. And there, and we didn't mm -hmm. see the point in doing like a part two because it was kind of supposed to be like a conclusion. Okay. So. And, um, yeah, it'll be, and, and I think the other thing that's true too is it also gives you an opportunity to get to know us a lot better too because we cut out a lot of our side conversations and things we talk about that may not necessarily have to do with what we're talking about in the video or things that we laugh about or Melinda and I talking about, you know, high school or, you know, a lot of stuff that we just, because we can go through 15 minutes and have seven conversations. Like that happens all, all the time. time. Like, yeah. And so, like, you'll get, you know, you'll get a better picture of, I think, who we are as people, too, which hopefully you're interested in that. Maybe we'll be able to put more stuff with the kids on it, too. We'll see. That'd be good, yeah. Yeah, because there's not, I don't know that the kids were part of the original plan. No. Well, um, especially because they were so young. They were so little. And we've included them in different things, which has been fun. And we've done some, like, the family things. <laughs> I said some of it. The pumpkin patch it. stuff was cute. Yes. But that damn turkey thing that we did last year, the turkey, the craft, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> like, They're that was older a this year. They're both in school learning how to do these things. Okay. Cheers, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Crunk with Martha Stewart. <laughs> That's going to be one of the tags on this video. Crunk with oh that would be so fun. Like, can you? Im I know we're not there, but can you imagine what it would be like to tag her in it and if she like say something? Oh my god, I'd freak out. Oh, she's you a legend. Guys are hilarious. And we're like, yeah, have a song with Snoop Dogg. It'll be fun. And then we quit our jobs because <laughs> <laughs> we no longer need to work anymore. <laughs> Hashtag goals. Right. Um, but, you know, we're, we're really excited about the Patreon thing. That's the biggest thing that's coming up. The things within the thing. Um, so yeah. it'll definitely help the channel a lot. Yes. Um, just for clarity purposes, we're not going to be buying clothes with it. It'll be no. shit for videos. And if we need to upgrade equipment, if we want to... Like, so one of the editing softwares that Mike uses when he edits our videos, there's like a... Pro version of it? A pro, I was going to say premium, but yeah, pro version. Yeah. That costs money, and these are things that, like, having a Patreon and having people that are willing to contribute yes. because they believe in us. And um, as much know. as we love our Brio, it has been tried and true on a trusty yeah. Brio camera. I love my, I love the Brio. It's fantastic. It is truly fantastic. Um, and, I mean, I think there have been plenty of times people are like, that's a webcam? No, it's well. It's also like a almost a two hundred dollar webcam. It's not like it's a, expensive. It's not a cheap one. You no, know. it shoots in four K. Um, yeah, but it is a it's great. Like I like it a lot. Yeah, but if we ever wanted to go and we do speaking of like interrupting the video, maybe he'll just walk by. But anyways, um, off to a good start.
is he doing? <laughs> So another thing that a different kind of camera would be great for is one day maybe we can go get facials for the channel or you yeah. had my first facial not that long ago. Yeah, they're amazing. It burns. There's some person. Enough. But it burns so good. No. I asked her, I said, how much longer does this have to be on my skin? And she goes, not much longer. It's already reacting. And I was like, okay. I was like, you normally leave this on for how long? <laughs> was my first experience too. It was like the cinnamon something or another. And she put it on oh my God. and started blowing the fan on it. I was like, okay, it's too much now. She's like, it's only been 30 seconds. You got four more minutes. <laughs> she only left mine on. Mine was a pomegranate stuff, but she left it on for um, three minutes. I, I thought my skin was melting off my face. Like it was pretty scary stuff. Anyway, continue. Yeah. But so like that would be fun. Or like when we go to the pumpkin patch, we could have like our camera. Instead of having to do like our phones. Cell phones. You know. And hopefully having something durable too, because I think like the biggest concern with the burrito is we're too scared to fucking break it. Like yeah. I don't want to move it because it'll break. I mean, it's durable enough, but at the same time, like it's hard to. We don't want to have to spend the two hundred dollars to replace it right. if something happens. Right. There's no otter box for the burrito. There is not an otter box for the burrito. This is true. And I currently use one for my chorus rehearsals. Or an otter box. No, Brio. <laughs> I just pictured you with a phone casing. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, ladies. This is my cake. Way to go. Uh, no, I use, the, I use a Brio at chorus rehearsal. And, like, I transport it back and forth in an actual camera case so that it doesn't get messed up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah, so Patreon coming to Mamasly Me soon. So we'll have links, not in this video, because it's not launched yet, but starting next week, in our starting in September, in our videos, there will be links. Um, we'll probably even put, like, a thank you to our top tier uh, subscribers on Patreon, maybe in our videos near the end. You know? Be those YouTubers. That'll probably, well, I was going to say, that would probably be a good bonus thing, is to have a name in the credits. Yeah. That's what the YouTubers and that, that I watch do. Well, one of yes. them does. And, and that's how I need like so excited like every time. Um, but that's one of the things like there will be some bonuses for the different tiers as yeah. well. So lots of exciting things that are going to be associated with Patreon. And yeah, I'm not excited about it. Do we say excited enough? Maybe Mike can put a counter on. Excited, excited, excited. I just keep saying it. Ding 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 ding. But oh, you're you're almost done with that, Martha, Martha Rita. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'll tag this recipe as the Martha Rita in the description down below. But as we have learned through looking at other recipes, hers is actually take. Can you? I would be on the floor if it was another another shot. I need a different <laughs> cup. Those are not tiny cups. Mm -mm. Those are for large. They feel so like dainty in my big ass hand, though. <sighs> anyway, that's all I have for us today. Follow us for more <clears throat> Martha cocktails. Martha Rita. <laughs> My cup is empty. All right. Also, look out for Patreon coming to our videos starting September 1st. September 2021. That's right. That's it. All right, do your spiel. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you uh, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit Tag the, Martha Stewart and share it. <laughs> hit the bell icon so you get notified when we have more amazing content like this. Uh, Tag Martha Stewart and possibly two chains. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. You know. Look, Martha and Snoop are They're besties. besties. They're I'm just saying one of them is a felon. Yeah, and it's, it's not, not Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Anyways, we're trying to get her to follow us. Rick. And come on and do a drink with us. That's right. Oh god, she'd drink us under the table. She would. We'd be so we'd be, we'd fall out. She'd be here like, and then next week. And we'd be on the floor taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make sure you follow us on social media at Mamasly Me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we will see you next time.
five months.